Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Today's scripture is all about relationships, especially our relationship with Jesus. We're in Matthew chapter 12, verse four, verses 46 through 50, where it says, while he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brother stood outside asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Jesus is letting us know that we don't have to be physically related to him through lineage, which was so important in his day, but the only requirement to be in his family is to do the will of God. What is the will of God? Well, later in Matthew, Jesus tells us what his will is. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to te test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. How can I do this, you might ask? Well, the writer of Hebrews tells us at the end of the book, in chapter 13, verses 20 and 21, he says, Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in us that, that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Remember, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. So if you believed in Jesus and confessed him as your Lord and Savior, then trust him to guide you to do his will today and every day. I think of the, old, the chorus of the old hymn, trust and obey for there's no better way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Trust him today and he'll show you his will. Then do it. Have a blessed day, Calvary.